Okay, so this reading is going to be about a movie I watched last night, House on the Hill. A true story of a man, uh, Leonard Lake, American serial killer during the mid-80s, him and his accomplice. A British Hong Kong born Charles Ng raped, tortured, and murdered an estimated 11 to 25 victims at a remote cabin near what? What? Wilseyville, California, in the Sierra Nevada foothills. After his 1985 arrest on unrelated charges, he swallowed cyanide pills. It was a crazy movie. I'll attach it. I. I thought I reached a certain depth of people's people's evil and this is crazy. This one was crazy. Uh a minute. So here it says he swallowed so he always kept cyanide pills or always, but he had cyanide pills. Attached to the lapel of his shirt or his shirts, just in case he got caught. Um, but in the movie, they showed them questioning him, interrogating him, and he takes the pill. So it looks like he died right there, but here it says he died four days later. Human remains, videotapes, and journals found at his cabin confirmed Ng's involvement and were used to convict Ng of 11 counts of capital murder. Okay, that's what came out. That's what flipped over. So secret society, I guess their own little society, magic, corruption, Illuminati, oath, but seeing where they were, this could mean they were in the correct geographical location to allow this to happen. Illuminati, oath, Freemason, ceremony, paranoia, conspiracy theory, esotericism, Hidden power, initiation, secret handshake, crime organization, and secrecy. And the library. Gutenberg, Vatican, archives, Alexandria, collector, silence, microfilm, spinster, occultist, university, secret doorways, library card, necro, necronomicon, Illuminated manuscript tomb. Yeah, he was so he was he actually recorded a documentary about what he was gonna do. And then he built a prison shed in his backyard and kept Kidnapping and doing various things. Okay. What else? I guess I can go here. Tell me about Leonard Lake. And I want one of these. Alright, let me pull his picture up. Leonard Lake. Um, born October 29th, a little scary, but makes sense. Scorpio, a non-evolved Scorpio who dwells in the darkness and his sexual needs versus transmuting that power into something bigger than him. Um, Leonard Lake, tell me what's going on, where things went left in that head of yours. Druid.
uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but if not, I'll mention. If I did, I'll mention it again. He and the guy, his partner, his cohort, were both in the military at one time. The Druid. Where are you? Sacralize, sacralize. So to make something more important than it is, let me look that up again. To put something on a pedestal. So this would be himself. imbue with or treat as having a sacred character or quality. Sanctify. The act of making something sacred. Um, the other thing I saw, when he was younger, his grandmother forced him to take nude photos of his stepsisters. He also kidnapped and killed his niece, went to his brother's house, killed his brother, kidnapped his niece, tortured her for a while, and then killed her. And she was blind. Actually, that's two. He had two blind. That's so... Yeah, he had two blind victims that I saw. He could add more, but that's kind of odd. Um an emblem, an oak staff, which is kind of weird because he was hitting his niece with a baseball bat. So it says, hold firmly to what you believe and things will clarify. The guidance you seek comes from an authoritative source. Authoritative source. Sometimes your beliefs isolate you into feeling unusual. Find your spiritual, okay. Find your spiritual family, the ones who share your outlook in order to enter a clearer relationship with your deeply held views. And the quote is, I hollow, H-A-L-L-O-W, all within the circle of life by my devotion. One soul sucker, two. I think he felt his tribe and his purpose in his mission was the military, went there, experienced and saw some things he probably couldn't believe um, and aligned with it and took it to a different level, brought that stuff home with him that probably colored his brain, all this knowledge, all these secrets, and just thought he could do that here. He thought he could actually do this and get a... I mean, he did do it, and he did get away with it, and he did take himself out, so... That's kind of everything that's saying. He held firmly to his belief and saw things his way. Guidance comes from authoritative source, that's the military. Not saying they have anything to do with this, just saying they were probably the only ones to discipline him. Sometimes your beliefs isolate you into feeling unusual, which he was okay with because he had his tribe, and then having a military or an enlisted brother doing this with you. Find your spiritual family, the ones who share your outlook, in order to enter a clearer relationship with your deeply held views. So he had a view and a vision. Not that it was right, but this is what he wanted to do, and he did it. Alright, Leonard Lake. Let's see what else. Uh, 
I want to go here. Give me one card for Leonard and one card for Charles. Leonard and Charles. Creepy. This movie was creepy. I don't watch scary movies, so I had to close my eyes during certain parts, but... Yeah, 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 the enchanter for Leonard, and those eggs, and the illusionist for Charles. Three of pentacles, seven of pentacles, I think these are pentacles. So this is him saying, I want a slave, I want someone, a, a house slave and a sex slave. So he, he pulled many ploys to get people to go with him. Hmm, that's funny, a different a different um, description of this. The treasure lies in a dragon's house, in hands once clean and now corrupted. Three of stars. Stars, wands. Three of wands and seven of wands. Laying in wait and guarded. Um, Three of stars, inner turmoil. Three of wands, waiting on somebody with an egg. Oh, I don't know if he was trying to get somebody pregnant. He was also married. Three of wands, inner turmoil comes from confusion. Fear of failure or false information. And I think that one, yes, fear of failure, but I think the false information is his childhood situation. That women are supposed to be abused or used or um, submissive. Seven of Wands lies in deceit. Grand conspiracies, secret societies, wow, wow, this might go deeper. So I think he had a sexual fetish, but he might have had a, a reason, not a reason, in his eyes, a reason to kill these people because in a lot of the movie he's asking is it my turn to rape her or is it my turn to stab her or is it and he's consistently in the backyard digging graves so if he gets what he wants sexually you can get what you want leftover wise is what I'm getting so again illusionist seven of wands lies and deceit Grand conspiracies, secret societies, the presence of a dupe or a saboteur. Interesting. All right. I don't really want to get too deep into this. Give me three cards about Leonard Lake. And three about Charles Ng. Three about Leonard Lake. And three about Charles Ng. I just saw the moon. So mother issues. Charles Ng. What's this? The 
Magician in Reverse, Manipulator. But more than that. The Magician in Reverse. Physician, Magus, Mental Illness, A Disgrace, and Disquiet, A Worried, Anxious Person. Um, Leonard Lake, Charles Ng. Okay. Mm, I think I'll do five. Yeah. So I want this card, Leonard Lake. Charles Ng. I'll use this one as the beginning. So three of wands, always waiting. Hmm. And seven of wands. So three of wands. Stars. Making his wishes come true. The star. Making his wishes come true. The Empress, which is kind of ironic with the um, eggs, creation, uh, procreation, I think I was trying to get people pregnant and have like a little the chariot. Two eights, new knowledge, two threes, calm. This is why he was always driving to do the kidnapping. I think he liked to pick, look at, they're all kind of in their own way. Regal, different. He had a type. Probably looked like his mother, his sister, his aunt, his grandmother, his stepsisters. I don't know exactly, but he had a mission, a drive, a passion, a type, a wish. Um, Charles Ng. So the Seven of Wands, hmm, Page of Swords, Hanged Man, which he's on death row, Ten of Cups, Attainment, More Women, Five of Swords, Defeat. And more women, three, three. <coughs> okay. Three of Wands in here. Inclusion. Seven of Wands here, asking for help. Ten of Cups, Agency. Yeah, this guy, this one. Five of Swords, which one? Identity. Again, he got off on the submissiveness, whether sexually or um, the masculine-female dynamic, just a female becoming submissive to him, 
and he got off on the killing, and I feel like, I hate to say this, sorry, dismemberment and the removal of body parts that he then <clears throat> sold. Yeah, definitely getting a black market kind of vibe from this one. He didn't care about he didn't care about that portion. He did. So he had a double reason for doing this. Alright, let me clarify. Uh two threes calm calm and getting his wishes met and that's to rope them in because once he roped them in they couldn't get away that's Leonard and this one again like the whole dynamic of what was happening but more like the murderous aspect of it <coughs> the filming of it the end result and then making money profiting off of it Okay, let me keep going. So, what about the Three of Wands? What about something about married? married. Three of Wands. What about the Three of Wands? Leonard. Knight of Swords. Yeah, an animalistic, carnal nature. The roughness of it, the submissive, getting somebody to submit, whether that's with words, seduction, control, knight of swords here, equity. Mm. That's cool. So he's seeing them as like deposits. Uh, the stars, the first one. What's this about? Go here. The stars. Two of cups. He had a love problem. reward he had a love problem uh, okay so if I, he had to force them into loving him this was his way of getting or receiving love because his wife didn't love him that was for sure um, Okay, the star, what's this about? The star, six of wands, victorious. He also had a issue with getting notoriety. So he wanted to see it in the news, he wanted to see it on the, oh. So, okay, I guess this kind of makes sense now that I'm thinking about it. So he wanted to be like a Ted Bundy or Jeffrey Dahmer and have a whole movie, documentary, series, be known. I've never heard of this guy, and when I watch this movie, I'm surprised. I haven't seen more of this around the story. Um... Okay. I'm getting, he didn't do it so much for the thrill, the, the actual kidnapping or the s submitting sexually or the making them slaves to clean the house or the locking them into the shed, but he did it to gain a name. Uh, like he wanted to go out as a badass. He wanted people to remember him. So it wasn't just a fetish or a void he had to fill. It was something to do with 
being famous, notoriety, notorious, recognized, identity. Uh, what's the Empress about? This is going to be interesting. Let me get an interesting deck. What's the Empress about? Leonard Lake. Picture, picture. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. I am getting that he wanted to leave a legacy, a bunch of, and this is how I'm hearing it, bastard children, evil spawns, that's what, I, that's what I'm hearing. Um, but I want to check out this horse. Ritualized devotion. A devotion ritual. Devotion to... Ugh. As much as he hated women. Okay, hold on. Let me get one more card before I do this. The chariot. What's this about? Let me go here. What's the chariot about? Uh, ooh. Hmm. Okay. So kidnapping them, controlling them, um, restraining them. He couldn't get hard unless he did this. <sighs> okay, hold on. So I want to see. Something here about pregnancy that I'm missing. Um, all right, death, Knight of Swords. Yes, we have that. Sudden death, approach of physical death, quick and sudden. Yeah, he was good at that. Uh, that's all I see for that. All right, the horse, the horse. The horse. So, a bay. Bay steed, symbolic of steady progress toward your goals. He's on his path. And then the black and the white horse, balance and decisiveness divided loyalties. Black horse, death defying, death seeking, death and rebirth, closing one door, opening another. The white horse signifies avatar, master of knowledge, the library, faith, master of knowledge and faith, teacher of spiritual progress, intellectualism and reason, coming of a spiritual lesson or teacher in your life. So he's basically, like I said, has the house and the knowledge, and this other one is tied into a secret society or something like that. Okay. Charles, I'm going to try to do him quickly. The Seven of Wands, what's this about? Three of Cups. Three ladies, and then the computer, and filming it, and streaming it, and live cam, and sending pictures, and movies, and documenting it, and this might have been a snuff film thing, because I was getting Long Island Serial Killer during this 
whole thing. Page of Wands, Three of Swords, another two threes. There's a calmness in both of them. That's weird. Mm. Mm. Uh, what's the hangman about? Eight of Cups. Walking away. The surprise was the girl that got away. There's one lady that got away and was... That's where that surprise came from. Ten of Cups. In between is the Nine of Cups. What's the Ten of Cups about? King of Cups. I knew there was a cup in between. So Eight of Cups. King of Cups comes in with a cup. That's the Nine of Cups. Then we go to the Ten of Cups, which is attainment. I don't know. There might be three women that either gave birth or there were three births out of this or something about yeah fertilizing three eggs so there might be children from this endeavor this guy I think got sexually abused when he was a child which is why he abused women, but I don't think his abuse came from a woman. I think it came from men. Maybe because he wasn't protected by a woman? Allegedly, speculation only. Um, Five of Swords, Defeat, Page of Wands, Sex. This is you know, Menendez Brothers. So I don't know if this guy was adopted. Made him mother crone. Something about his family was disloyal to him or allowed him to be used in a way he shouldn't as a child that brought him here. Page of Wands, sex. And the only way he can get why am I giving this with these two? The only way he can get off is by being mentally cruel. Alright, stickers and I'm out of here. Because I did not want to live in this. Knight of Swords, Three of Wands for Leonard. Actually, just give me a handful and we're going through. Knight of Swords, Three of Wands, Leonard. Stars with the Two of Cups for Leonard. Um, the star with the six of wands for Leonard. The empress with the knight of pentacles for Leonard. Oh, that's what they were doing too. The chariot with the ace of wands in reverse for Leonard. They were, they were posting like, let's say on Craigslist, uh, model... <clears throat> A calling for models or do you want to make a commercial or do you want to something about photography and setting these girls up or people so I've got Tupac King of Swords lyrics lyrics something about his cadence his lyrics his tone There's a smoothness to it, which is how people get roped in. This is kind of fun. So I've got the stars with the two of cups. Something about somebody with tattoos. Somebody with tattoos. If you hear crying, that's my neighbor's child. That's not in my house. Seven of Swords in Reverse. Good advice, counsel, instruction, slander, and babbling. 
So something about somebody taught him. There's like an, again, cadence about his words. There's a way that he can speak to people to make them feel safe to come with him. That's what I'm getting. But there's also something about tattoos here. I don't know if somebody that mistreated him or abused him was heavily tattooed. Maybe something happened at a tattoo shop. All right, the star and the six of wands, the best picnic. Maybe somebody took him picnicking when he was younger and did things they weren't supposed to. The Empress and the Knight of Pentacles. So what does this say? The best time to fall asleep. It will provide most comfortable of the day. Something, something. Something about this expensive fancy coat. Maybe he didn't have a coat when he was younger. Maybe his mother was neglectful. Maybe his mother made him go steal. But he did say he was with his grandmother. I don't know his family situation. The chariot with the ace of wands in reverse. Love and bullets. Hmm. In reverse. All right. Um, Charles. What did he get here? The seven of wands with the three of cups. Ooh. Ugh. Knight of swords also. Just like Leonard. But we got the shining knight of swords with an axe. Yeah, somebody hacked his heart. There was an injustice done to him when he was younger that made him cruel and evil like this. Okay, this is in reverse mother and it was going to be mother maybe his mom passed maybe it's his mother that broke his heart maybe it's his mother that's again i felt like somebody neglected him that allowed him to be abused and he was blaming mother family adoptive family i don't know i'm gonna have to go back and see if they go into the family dynamics of these two uh, the hangman with the eight of cups. I think this is about that girl getting away. I got two things. Mahogany. Candle. I think. Pretty sure this is a candle. And then dead Kennedys. Dead presidents. Money. Mall. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. I don't know how the mahogany plays in. Wood? So they went to the to a hardware store and got caught shoplifting, which was how this girl was able to get away. I don't know, made it... Okay, I'm just going to leave that there. Ten of Cups, King of Cups. Ten of Cups, King of Cups. What's this about? Justice. Interesting. So this is, if I'm not mistaken, the justice that's tied to Tupac. Poetic justice. Right? So is this saying Charles is getting justice? Because... He gets to speak out about what happened and blame most of it on Leonard. And then, what is the Five of Swords with the Page of Wands? What's this about? Five of Swords with the Page of Wands. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, I kind of got it. He, Charles, was introducing Leonard, either vice versa, one or the other. Two. Black magic, esotericism. Was that in this one? No, that was in this one. They were probably 
performing spells, on how to remain hidden, on how to pick up people, on how to kill without being um, caught. But what was this? Yeah, esoteris esotericism. Why can't I say it today? Esoterism. Terrorism. Terror. Esoteric. Esotericism. Good enough. Yes, there was black magic going around. They were teaching each other. One had knowledge probably on dark magic or how to rope somebody in or how to pull the wool over somebody's eyes, how to make them trust you pull a bait and switch and then the other one had knowledge about a secret society and how they could benefit double time okay i'm gonna attach the movie and that's all i have here thank you